Hey everyone, it's time for another video. This time it's a Le Magnifique International Restaurant. Wow, uh, this lot, it's pretty wild. I actually quite like it, even though it's it's so bizarre. Um, I really feel like whoever designed this at Max's was like, I'm gonna go crazy today with all the um, primary colors and all the stone and the floors and the pillars. Uh, uh, I admire the um, the work that went into this one. It's very fun. I actually think it's uh, quite a lot of fun. Um, but I, uh, it was quite a challenge to uh, turn this into something. Uh, you know, I, I, right now I'm just removed from things. But in the back of my mind, I was like, how am I going to fix this? Ah. But what I ended up with is really, really amazing. I'm really 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 like what I ended up with um, you might have seen in a preview picture there is a picture of a, like a grilled cheese painting and stuff like that um, I remember downloading some grilled cheese um, paintings and things recently from Shasta Kiss and I was like oh, this is going to be a, the fanciest grilled cheese sandwich restaurant in the world so suddenly I had, you know, so much inspiration, you know, the color orange from the grilled cheese um, paintings, even though, you know, cheese, not every cheese is orange, but you know, you know, uh, the paintings quite have, usually have an orange t uh, t uh, tint to them. But yeah, <sighs> there's a lot. I don't know what these two pillars are supposed to be, but I kept them because I was like, this is so weird. I like it. I'm keeping it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'll be using quite a lot of different uh, materials in this um, lot. Uh, as you can see, I have like orange kind of paint on the wall. I have some orange bricks and then I have the concrete pillars and I'm also uh, trying to find a nice concrete floor that matches uh, you know so we have uh, paint brick and concrete it's very uh, yeah decided to go for this uh, slightly brown concrete because I felt that would match the orange and the brick a little bit more than you know the typical gray or white concrete but um, yeah, and here I'm going for this uh, this particular shade of orange, or you know, uh, stucco or or paint, or whatever you want to call it. I believe it's the stucco right now. Yeah, stucco. So we got stucco, bricks, and concrete. And um, yeah, like I said, I really really like what I ended up with this lot. It's so it's so much fun. Uh, crazy colors, crazy ideas. Like, uh, you know, these kind of, they're almost like a um, fireplace, um, you know. Oh god, I forgot the name. Chimneys, yeah, they're almost like kind of like chimneys or something, but I kept them. I was like, this is so weird, I have to keep this feature, I don't know why, but, you know, sometimes I try not to change too much when it comes to walls and stuff like that, to floor plans with the houses, uh, like, you know. And especially these ones, I was like, you know what, I'll keep them. <laughs> yeah, for the windows and the doors, I decided to go for the uh, Tokyo set by Windkeeper. It's a very, uh, very simple, you know, it's a floor to ceiling uh, height, like windows and doors. So that's very, um, very nice, you know. You know, I think, I'm pretty sure the window sets are way older than... Um, than when we had ceilings, but Windkeeper make them in such a way that they are just like fit it right, like underneath the ceiling. It's very, uh, I'm very happy with that. You know, you have some, sometimes you have floor to ceiling uh, windows and doors that are actually bleeding through the ceiling. That's very, you know, like, oh, damn it. <laughs> such a shame. But not these ones. Pretty great. So I'm very happy. So, yeah, bathrooms, of course, big concrete bathrooms. <laughs> Decided to use, uh, you know, some normal, just the normal bathroom doors, like, 
because they have the orange little the little orange sign. I was like, this match is great. Gotta use it. Oh man, I love this lot so much. At first, I was like, what am I going to do? And then the grilled cheese happened, and I was like, oh, oh. you know, I love it when you are so inspired and everything just. You're so excited about a lot. And uh, I don't think anyone else gets really excited by looking at this lot. They might go, God, ooh, so ugly and I hate it, all the colors. But, you know, I love what I ended up with. So I hope you like it too, you know, especially the second part. Uh, decorating was a lot of fun. But there's also a part in this, uh, the first part of the video that I like doing a lot. And you will see soon. Let's do something with the roof. So the kitchen. Very modern kitchen, it's fully concrete. It's gonna look really cool. Just trying to find, uh, you know, some nice windows. They were big enough, but not too big for like, to, you know, they had to uh, be able to fit like counters on them, underneath them, because I wasn't quite sure um, how I was going to decorate the kitchen. Just uh, So I just wanted to, you know, better be safe than sorry. So I think this one, counters can go underneath just, but they might bleed through to a little bit. But I really like this window, you know, I haven't used it ever, I think, but it's so pretty. It's a nice uh, three tiled window, a four tile actually. Uh, I didn't, uh, I forgot, but it looks, uh, looks so good. So this top floor, originally it was a, um, very strange, strange um, part of this this lot. It was just pretty empty. It had like one sofa and a dartboard, so I assume it was a rec room for the employees. <laughs> but it looks so weird. It was like like a weird attic, empty attic idea. So I was like, okay, I guess I gotta make a rec room somewhere. So I'm trying to use, uh, trying to do that with these awesome stairs by um, Rainus. They've made um, a couple of uh, spiral stairs, like in uh, in both directions, so uh, clockwise and counterclockwise, for like concrete, um, wooden, and metal. I think probably just uh, a normal one but uh, you can put like little walls around them so they look enclosed and they are super nice so I used the concrete one in this lot so yeah as you can see uh, the exterior I originally wanted to go with a light gray brick but I finally decided you know what I'm gonna go fully concrete so the uh, exterior walls are also concrete And then I had the brilliant idea, an idea that I first came up with um, on the furniture store. The uh, I forgot the name already, <laughs> but like a green roof. So, and I was like, you know what? This is a perfect restaurant. It's modern. It probably would, you know, a green roof would go really well with this one. And I just went crazy with it. Uh, as you can see, I'm putting on grasses. You know, so I uh, said so fill up, make it look more green. Yeah, so this is definitely my favorite part, I think, of this entire lot. You know, although the interior is nice too, but I really, really like this uh, garden, uh, roof garden, I have to say. I'm gonna use quite a lot of plants on this. You know, not just grass, I'm also going to use... Um, some shrubs, some of these uh, weird little shrubby things. They look so cool. With all these different, you know, they have really nice shapes and, you know, the white stems with the green leaves. So they're really cool. So very excited to use those again. Um, I want to use some of the these ones, but they, I was like, ah, they're a little bit dark, maybe. And you just, hmm. So I kept them around for a while and I decided to use the mumba jumba grasses and the giggly grass because they have these nice two toned um, recolors of them. So kind of the red and the green. So, oh, that's so good. So much more color. It's amazing. So 
So I want to use some flowers as well. Uh, I think my previous roof garden was kind of, kind of, well, there were some flowers on there, like, like, um, some light purple ones, and I want to, you know, give a little bit more brighter colors on this, uh, roof, so I decided to actually go for some plants in my, my, oh, of course, these wavy little plants, the, god, the blah 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 grass, I've got the name already, cattails, I don't know. No, these are not the cattails, they are money. Anyway, so yeah, I decided to go for some of the uh, plants that I have in my, uh, not in the plant folder, but in the uh, decorative plant folder. You know, I don't know why Macarossi and all the other creators made them that, but <laughs> okay, guess I gotta go. So I decided to go with these, these kind of, uh, I don't know what kind of flowers they are, but they are pretty cool. They're very high, very tall flowers. So, they have a you know, a light pink, orangey tint. So they're very cute. But I also decided to go for these um, bright orange uh, irises, as you will see soon. You know, to kind of, you know, to match the wallpaper or the the stucco inside, bright orange, and it looks amazing. Oh, they look yeah, it looks so nice. So happy with it. <laughs> and when I was decorating, I was like, yes, this is so cool. This is so cool. I was really excited when working on this one. I was really really happy. Decided that the uh, front of the downstairs there need to be some plants as well. So in front of the windows so I made them Some terrain paint loop done So upstairs like I said was going to originally be like a rec room for the employees But at one point I was like this is way too nice for employees you know if you ran a business like this you would think I want this upstairs for my um, guests I did notice that some of the shrubs were bleeding through the ceiling so I removed them and then the search for big shrubs that did not bleed through the floor slash ceiling started because apparently a lot of them bleed through so that was quite annoying. And I kind of want to, you know, shrubs that would fit the whole wispy um, planting of the um, rest of the plants, like the mamba jumbo grass and those um, grasses. You know, you can imagine with a little bit of wind, the entire garden moves. So I wanted big shrubs that also kind of look kind of, you know, like they would move when it gets the wind happened. So. I really wanted to use those ones, but they also bleed through, as you will see. Yep, they are bleeding through. It's going very quickly, but believe me, they are so happy with them originally. I actually didn't check, I think. See, they are also bleeding through, so back to the drawing board. So, luckily, I found that these ones, smaller ones, that did not bleed through. So we still get the whole sort of airy, you know, blowing through the wind um, feeling of this garden. But, you know, they're slightly smaller, so, but it's fine. So yeah, at this point I was like, you know, I, I have to make a little area where you can have some tables on this garden as well. So buy plants, I didn't delete some of them. Because, you know, you're not gonna, you know, if you got a good garden like this, people want to go and sit there to have, like, their dinner or something. So, yeah. Uh, so here we have a little patch. A little VIP area, I suppose. <laughs> oh, man, it looks so great. So then, of course, yeah, I would have to need to move the stairs because it's no longer, like, for the personnel only. I have to put it in a little hallway. Put a lot of windows in there, you know, create a lot of light so everybody sitting upstairs can look into the garden because that's what you want when you're sitting there. So 
sadly the roof of this garden looks like a mess in hood view. Everything is like bleeding and drawing stripes. But see you in the next video for the interior. Bye!